Continuing on the last exercise, if you notice from the side, the elliptical turns. So, so I'm gazing down 45, now I'm looking out and up. Body's closing, body's opening. Hands are closing as I draw in and up. Hands are opening as I express. Okay, so notice the opening and closing of the body. Now, if I am doing tonifying actions, I come up while closing. This is basic. Now, a more advanced way I can do this is as this is rising up, I'm releasing and sinking down in the back, creating the back side of the circle. So, um, put your ruler down. So, if I'm standing like this and Aaron holds my wrists, and I try to just lift the ruler up, I pull myself in, okay? You see, and I'm lifting very lightly. I'm not doing like curls with my bicep, but I'm balancing the yin and yang movement in my body. So once again, here I try to use muscle. I pull myself to my toes. Here I just... Right? So this is a basic idea of how, to, how we do the basic circling. As we get better, we'll learn how to, for example, when I'm here and I'm doing tonifying movement, if he's underneath my hands, I don't just push my hands down like this. I, the spine closes and I sink my chi to my feet. And we add a prop. And this creates a power. And you learn to refine these circles when they open and close, when they start, where they start. And over time, this becomes very powerful opening and closing movement. This is just a simple movement to show how to um, make the basic circles before doing the supplementals. Now, the Nagong aspect is various aspects, but the simple aspect of sinking my chi to my feet before raising the crown point, right? It creates this propping energy. But if I'm not pushing down with strength, they're only pushing me up and away. So it's about releasing, releasing down. You know? So, it's a basic idea.